and so, but tell me about the pre-COVID sort of time period and, and right. I guess just what it, what it looks like for you to start leaning into the financial planning business more and, and begin to, to start ramping. Okay. So what I really had to do during that time was, I would say probably like 2018, mid 2018, I had to take a step back and look at how I was going to reach out and let people know I was in the community. Right. And so what I did was I, I started a website. I started a blog because I loved writing about things. You know, I would drive around with my kids and I would hear things. I'd hear stories on the radio and, or watch the news. And I'm like, somebody needs to write an article about that. Somebody needs to research that so that it can be real and relatable to the average person who may or may not be financially literate. Right. So I started the blog, peaceofmindwaypoints.com. So I started doing that. I also connected with another financial planning firm locally and said, hey, listen, this is what I'm trying to do. Do you have you considered working with somebody who is exclusively a financial planner? So I tried doing that. I also spent time offering my services as a guest speaker. So if some, and I, and I would do it for a minimal amount just to get myself out there and in front of folks. But I found that really writing and creating a blog and, and researching information made me better prepared to field, gather clients because I had something to, to talk about. It was fascinating. I remember talking with a, it wasn't Rotary. It may have been a Rotary group, but I had been invited to an online meeting with them. And I remember telling them this whole COVID thing is going to last a while. And this is right after we shut down. And just planting those seeds in different places with people of influence within my community sort of helped me get my name out there. 